This week, we highlight another life well lived. There was an appropriately historic sight yesterday in the sky over Maynardsville, Tennessee. The United States Navy conducting its first ever all female flyover. The women guiding their aircraft in missing man formation to honor the late groundbreaking aviator Rosemary Mariner. In 1973, Captain Mariner was selected as one of eight women to enter military pilot training. The next year, she became the Navy's first ever female jet pilot, earning her wings of gold as a naval aviator at the age of 21. In 1990, Captain Mariner was the first woman to command a military aviation squadron, later serving in the first Gulf War. She attended the National War College, worked on the staff of the Joint Chiefs at the Pentagon, and fought successfully for the repeal of combat restrictions on women. Mariner was fascinated by flight from a very young age. Her father was an Air Force pilot who died in a plane crash when Rosemary was just three years old. Determined to fly herself, Mariner graduated college at the age of 19 with a degree in aeronautics. She washed planes and cleaned houses to save money for flight school and got a pilot rating before even joining the military. After serving 24 years in the Navy, Mariner taught military history at the University of Tennessee. Tommy Mariner, Rosemary's husband of nearly 40 years and a retired naval commander, said of his wife, she was very proud of the fact that women followed her and that she wasn't the only one to walk through that door. That legacy shows the door stayed open. Captain Rosemary Mariner, an American trailblazer in the skies, died last week in Tennessee of ovarian cancer. She was just 65 years old.